Vascular surgeons, they uh, uh, operate on blood vessels, uh, almost every single vessel outside the, the heart. And we have two ways to take care of the vessels, either through inside the vessel, it's called endovascular, or the standard uh, open approach. For example, when we uh, want to fix an aneurysm, an aneurysm it's a dilatation or weakening of the uh, aortic uh, of the vessel wall. Uh, it, it is common in the aorta below the kidney vessels. So for this particular problem, uh, when we want to fix this aneurysm, we have the two options, either the standard big cut on the belly where we replace the aneurysm with a graft, or we have the endovascular technique where we make two small cuts in the groins and we put a stent graft. This is the endovascular repair that happens in about 70 to 80% of the cases. For the open uh, standard uh, approach for uh, aneurysm repair, it usually involves a cut on the belly, either in the midline or on the side. It depends on the location of the aneurysm. Uh, it's done under general anesthesia with uh, lines and uh, tubes placed for intensive monitoring. Uh, we will go in and once we get to the aneurysm and dissect uh, the normal vessel above and below, we put a clamp, open the blood vessel and replace it completely with a tube graft or a bifurcated graft that will uh, completely isolate the aneurysm and the blood will flow in the, inside that graft. Uh, it is uh, a surgery, it depends on the comp complexity of it. It can take up to four uh, hours or five hours. Patients do stay in the hospital uh, for five to seven days. Uh, if they're relatively healthy and their heart and lungs are in a good shape, they will uh, uh, go home uh, after the surgery. For the endovascular uh, aneurysm repair is uh, the minimally invasive way to treat uh, aortic aneurysms. It does involve access through the femoral arteries in the groin, either through a very small incision or about two centimeter incision in the groin to get access to the vessel. Once you're uh, inside on both groins, you travel inside the blood vessel, you go to the level of the kidneys, and you uh, build an endograft or a stent inside the blood, blood vessel you build two limbs, one to the right, one to the left, and once you're done, the blood will circulate inside the stent graft and will eliminate the pressure on the weak uh, vessel wall that is the aneurysm. Uh, this is a, a technique that's less invasive, well tolerated by most of the patients. They usually stay one or two days at most in the hospital. They'll be able to walk and uh, function uh, relatively faster than the open surgical technique. Here at the uh, UPMC Heart and Vascular Institute, we individualize care for every patient with vascular disease. We will consider them for the endovascular or the open technique as needed and as indicated. And we will provide them with the expertise that's available for them here at UPMC. Mm -hmm.